Now, performing this constraint minimization problem means that I want to find not on this two dimensional plane, but on this one dimensional line where the objective function j is minimum. Okay, so let's try it. So along this line, we can actually look at the contours, right? So the value here is equal to the value here. Now the value here, which is equal to the value here, is actually closer, it's on the lower contour. So the value here is more optimal than the value here. And if we work even closer towards the middle, somewhere around here is the solution. Now, what characterizes this particular solution here? If we are able to uh, refine these contour lines, so let's draw some intermediate contour lines in between these, and draw some intermediate contour lines between these. What do you think characterizes this particular optimal under the constraint? We can think two cases, right? If we draw a particular contour line that never intersects the constraint, right? So if we draw a contour line that never intersects the constraint, that means it is impossible to achieve that value of the objective function on the constraint. It is not possible to satisfy the constraint and achieve that law of a objective function. On the other hand, if we have an intersection, right, and if, particularly if we have two intersections, that means, first of all, it is possible to satisfy the constraint and uh, achieve that value. And you can achieve that value on two points. In addition, in between these two points, you can achieve an even better objective function, right? So that means, okay, let me categorize. Uh, if a contour does not intersect the constraint, the constraint uh, uh, is a line, right? Then it is impossible. to achieve if a contour of, let's say, of value v, uh, j equal to v on the constraint. Okay. Two is if a contour of value uh, v has double intersection, then it is possible to do better, to achieve j less than v on the constraint. So what is the remaining possibility that it is both possible to achieve and it's impossible to do better? That's the only remaining case three. If it has a single intersection, right? It has a single intersection, which means that this particular contour line actually has to go tangent with the constraint line at that point. Then uh, J, then V is equal to the minimum of J. So this is the really equivalent of the gradient equal to zero in unconstrained optimization. Right, this is called the KKT condition, right? Uh, named after uh, three mathematicians that uh, uh, came up with this constraint. So, if the contour line is tangent with the constraint line at a particular point, that is a necessary condition for the constraint optimal to occur. So. 
uh, if I write down this a little bit more carefully uh, in mathematics, what does it mean by being tangent, right? What it means by tangent is actually the gradient direction being orthogonal to this, uh, uh, the gradient direction being orthogonal to the constraint line, right? And the gradient, uh, uh, what is the constraint line? The constraint line, uh, if you look at the, the direction orthogonal to the constraint line, is actually d1, d2, right? This d1, d2. So essentially, uh, the, uh, what it says is that the gradient of the nonlinear function has to coincide with the gradient of the constraint in order for the optimal to occur. By coincide, it means one is a linear, is a constant multiple of the other. 